Osmanthus wine tastes the same as I remember. But what? Da 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 da. This is dubbed over. That's for two weeks. I've been in for a year. And don't be confused by the fancy restaurant. I can afford it. My family's rich. My father has his own plant in Samara. He served for 15 years. After that, he went on to start his own business. Also, my brother was special forces. He was in Syria. So you made the decision to honor the family legacy. Well, you can say that. Where did you serve? The 45th Special Forces, Airborne Brigade. Oh, airborne. <laughs> so did you go parachuting? Of course, it's airborne. And exploit, and exploit it. it. If you if outnumber, you outnumber the, enemy, the enemy, seek unequivocal, unequivocal domination, domination and crush them. Crush them. 
Marauders on the waterfront are supplied by sea. Burning their ships is the path to success. General Gora, sir. Do you have a verdict? More or less. From the directives left behind by Her Excellency, we can surmise that the Tui ship is moored nearby. This explains their aggressive posture. We could split into two teams, one to draw their attention, and the other to circle around behind enemy lines and set fire to their ship. They'd have nowhere to run. Then again, Madam Kokumi made clear that we are not to split up without sufficient forces. We'd risk being picked off one by one until our whole line of defense disintegrated. Sir, shall I send for reinforcements? I doubt there's time. Based on their movements, they'd likely be gone before our troops arrived. Her Excellency's directives also stipulate that we should wait in ambush and avoid making the first move. Since we lack sufficient troops, I don't think we can afford to engage the enemy at this time. Sir, we're just gonna stand by and watch them leave. Surely there must be another way. Her Excellency's directives also state help may arrive when all seems lost. As for where this help is supposed to come from, I... Captain, Captain, you've returned, you've returned to Watatsumi Island. Island. That's great! That's great. <laughs> Her, Excellency's Her Excellency's directives are as reliable, reliable as, ever. as ever. You've arrived just, just in time. time. Recently, Recently, the remnants, the remnants of, the of the Fatui forces, forces have been unusually, been unusually active. active. We've, been We've been monitoring their movements, movements waiting in ambush, ambush here. here. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, we don't, we have, don't the have the manpower to split into two teams. Can we ask can you, you to keep you them, to occupied? them occupied? Hard to say no when it's the Fatui. Whatever they're planning, we won't let them get away with it. Good. Good. There's not, There's a, not moment not a moment to lose. To lose. We'll go we'll behind every line and sabotage, sabotage their, their ship. ship. Let's meet Let's back, meet back, here, back afterward. here afterward. Watch yourselves. Watch yourselves. We'll, be we'll be back shortly. Seems like the resistance doesn't remember that. Come on. Let's get this situation under control. For four, it's a difference of roughly 471. Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, that was easy. Hey, look, I still have the particle effects. We were lucky, we were to, lucky have to have you here. here. We'd have no We'd way have to no prevent way to their escape, their escape without, without you. What's that you're, you're holding? holding? Is it the directions from, from Coco Melon? Coco Melon! This is a whole lot. Is it all Coco Melon's directions? Yeah, yeah. Well, no, not all of them. I have, I have five, five more volumes, volumes with me. With me. <laughs> her Excellency her always plans, plans for every, every scenario. scenario. Plus, these Plus, are her these general are her operational directives, directives, which are, which are more comprehensive than most. Than most. <laughs> Still, we're fortunate we're to have them. They make sure, they make sure we're prepared, we're prepared for, every for every eventuality, eventuality no matter how complex. <sighs> Are you back the ones that soon the island to lead soldiers to it? We've all been feeling your absence. Her Excellency says that now is a time of peace and that we should reduce the size of the military and focus on helping the civilian population. About half of us are still organized into task forces, supporting the platoons. The other half have been given various other functions like patrol, construction, and farming. Of course, not everyone's happy about it. The other day, an old buddy of mine was grumbling about being forced to build houses. Said they'd have to drag him away from the front line, kicking and screaming. <laughs> I believe Her Excellency is currently at Boro Village. There were reports of a possible disturbance over there. If I'm not mistaken, Her Excellency has gone to deal with it in person. We should probably get going ourselves. And, uh, also, on your way over, please check in on the soldiers. I'm sensing a growing unease among them, but I don't know what's causing it. They won't say. They used to tell me all their concerns, but whatever this is, they're keeping it hidden. I don't like it one bit. I suspect there's trouble afoot. What just happened?
you, you. Oh, it is you. Oh, you, oh, have, you our have our gratitude. Our gratitude. Why don't some of the island I live come to peace without, without your efforts? efforts. I wasn't, I wasn't with, swordfish with swordfish too. too. But, but I, I did I see you with Tatar Soda. Soda. Oh, you, oh, you really, really gave, gave it to those shogun. Is there anything, is there anything you need from me? From me? I'm at I'm your at service. Your service. Uh, uh, on edge, you say? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I've, yeah, noticed, I've it noticed it too. In fairness, In fairness the battle is long, long over. And, and, and Well, perhaps, perhaps it isn't quite over for them. You know what I mean? Every single person looked death in the face that day. It's not experience you forget in a hurry. Victory is declared, and all of a sudden... The fighting's, the fighting's over. over. But, people but people can't, can't just snap, snap back into normal, normal life again. Life again? I, think I think things will improve, improve but, but it's going to take, some, gonna take time. some time. I don't yeah, know what, I don't else, know it what else it could be, be. But, what but what I do know is that as long as Her Excellency is with us, Watatsumi Island is safe. And all the more so now that you're back. Seriously, if there's ever anything you need, just say the word. What a nice guy. What's going on with people? So, do you need something? Unsettled? Hmm. Unsettled. Not that I would, necessarily. I keep to myself, mostly. They're all too proud of me. We're at peace now, finally. And I, for one, intend to make the most of it. My life right now is about two things and two things only. The sun and the sea breeze. Sorry, Sorry that I can't, that I can't help, more help to you. To you. I'll, tell I'll tell you someone, someone you could ask, could though. though. San Gonamia. She, she knows everything. Hmm. Hmm. Seems he's about to fall asleep. Let's let him direct and go find someone else to ask. Understand what her excellency is thinking. I mean, peace talks. Give me a break. Why would she agree to that? Exactly. Everyone knows you can't trust the Tenryo Commission. I heard they've been secretly coordinating with the Fatui and plan to continue their attacks. Wait, for real? You're sure of this? Positive. Some of our guys had a run in with a few Fatui. They caught them conspiring together firsthand. I knew it. The Tenryo Commission are a bunch of crooks. They'll never change. Honestly, it's kind of naive for Her Excellency to take them at the word, isn't it? Keep your voice down. Someone's coming. What you talking about? Uh, Captain, you're back. Do you think we should tell the Captain about what we were discussing just now? No, no, let's no, not no, mention it. it. He's one of her closest, closest advisors. For all we for know, all the peace talks could, could have been his idea. idea. I'm sure the I'm captain sure would see more coming from, 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 but you're right. You're right. We should we probably... Should probably. <coughs> uh, 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 welcome, uh, welcome back to Watatsumi Island, 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 Captain. Captain. Nothing, to, Nothing report to report here. here. Everything, Everything is a okay Her Excellency should be in the village at present. Head straight over to Wish, Captain. Hi, my definitely detected some hush going on here. But if they aren't gonna talk, we might as well head over to the village.
We know we you've know been secretly supplying the Tenryo, Tenryo Commission, Commission with goods with purchased, purchased on Watatsumi, on Watatsumi Island. Island. I know something, something was off about a Tenryo, Tenryo Commission, Commission merchant, merchant doing business, doing business here. here. So, so, what do you what have, do you to, have say? to say? I'm innocent! I'm innocent. Ha, ha! You're as guilty, you're as, guilty as, they as they come! You never you should have been allowed to set foot on this island! Take him away! Wait! Wait! This merchant is suspected of criminal activity, so we seized him. Our surveillance shows that in his whole time here, he has made numerous purchases, but no sales. And yet he has no stock in his possession. We believe it's highly probable that he has been supplying the Tenryo Commission behind the scenes. I, I have it. I, I, uh... That will do. Let's not let ourselves get too worked up here, shall we? Everyone take a deep breath with me. In? In? And out. And out. Better? Better? Matsuda, Matsuda. Uchimura. Uchimura. I understand I that you're that concerned you're for the safety of Watatsumi Island. Island. But before, but before we, we make any decisions any over whether this whether merchant is guilty, is guilty or, not, or not, we must we give must him the chance to explain himself. himself. If, he's if he's guilty, of course, of course there, will there will be consequences. consequences. But, but if he's innocent, he doesn't, he doesn't deserve, deserve to be falsely accused. This is Watatsumi Island. We deal, we deal in facts, in facts not, opinions. not opinions. Excuse me, sir. As you know, As you know my subordinates have, have some concerns surrounding your commercial activities here. Perhaps you could explain your side of the story to help you divert it. Of course! I can explain everything. <laughs> Um, um, I, I'm a trader on the island, so naturally so I built, built up some inventory. Some inventory. I was planning to hold off on selling, until, selling the until the prices went, went up, up, but then, um... Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 oh, 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 but, but then, then, I was robbed by the Fatui. They took everything. They took everything. Now, think about, think that. about that. First I lose all my inventory, then I get treated like a criminal. And why should we believe you? So what? so what? That doesn't that prove doesn't they prove took they his goods. goods. And even, if, and they even did, if they did, it'll still, it'll still end, end up in the Tenryo Commission's, Commission's hands. hands. They're in, They're this, in together. this together. What? what? The Tenryo the Commission, Tenryo Tenryo Commission is colluding with the Fatui now? now? This is the first I've, first heard, I've heard, heard of it. Ah, I nah, suppose it is true. What's that gonna do with me? What the Okay, I gotta, uh, one sec. Someone's showing up and I have to watch them realize that I was right and they were wrong. Uh, this'll be a while.
And I'm back. It has been brought to my attention, yes. yes. We are scheduled to begin peace talks with the Temporal Commission soon. The Kamisa clan has much prepared to take place in a neutral location. Kujo, Sara, and I will be accompanied by our guards. We will use the talks to discuss future plans in detail. But just as arrangements for the peace talks began to fall into place, I started hearing rumors of collusion between the Kujo clan and the Fatui. Uh, allegedly, uh, their goal is to completely wipe out one thousand island. island. If that is the case, the case, then the peace talks are likely a trap. Even the Kamisato clan could be involved. Sir, are you quite certain that your goods were stolen by the Fatui? Yes, the truth, I swear. They stole my goods and then they ran off that way. I bet that's where that hideout is. Very well. Potential the potential ramifications of this of incident, incident are serious. serious. We will retrieve we will your goods, your and if everything is in order, order it will prove we your innocence. Innocent. However, However, if we if find we evidence to corroborate the claims of collusion between the country and the time of commission, I expect, I expect you to fully, fully comply with our investigation. investigation. Do we have Do an understanding? understanding? Yes, yes, of course. Of course. <sighs> Thank, Thank you, Your Excellency. Matsuda? The Chimura? Well, we're seeing well, your excellency. Good. Now, Chopper. No, I mean, I mean, Captain of Sword of Fortune, Section, section two. 2. Would you do me the investigation? Ma'am! Yes, ma'am. Happy <laughs> soldier. For the time being, at least, we, we are in peace time. Besides, I'm sure you won't be on Watatsu Island forever.
Drown them a dream! Drown them a dream! I can gather the water vapor, you add a touch of lightning, and together we can shove them into submission. Wow! That's a grand strategy! It's a lot to think about, though. Which option should we choose? I choose drown them with dream! Drown with drown them with Jean. Drown them with Jean, drown them with Jean. Thank you. 
All thanks to your dear victory. Even the best tactics never die on the strength of those executing them. Winning a battle takes a concerted effort from everyone involved. Victory never belongs to a single thing. Now that you mentioned it, Paimon did make a pretty big contribution. I grovel to differ. Check shy. Could they really be in collusion with the Tenryo Commission? Let's go to the camp for evidence. If the merchant's story is true, the inventory should be here. Hi, keep it up. Oh, thanks. Agus Jumblus. Is that the same person I just invited, or who's Tarachu? What are you doing? MOG grinning face with sweat. I'm aiming. Why don't I do this? 
Oh, helping someone? Have you finished the Farina Archon quest? Yes, yes I have. Or at least Tears of Masquerade. Ooh, teriyaki, don't mind if I do. All right. All right, let's start with the Yeet Mama. Uh, let's cooking with Yeet Mama. Perfection! Motherly charm! MILF! Was a term invented in the 80s! Not pulling Farina. Thank <laughs> you. 
There, I pulled for Farina. Let's find out which flowers they're after. I gotta I got check this out.
Wow, this
channel subscribe Angus Jumblus yep let's see using Hutao asking about Farina uh, yep they're definitely the same person Pablo Inglés, por favor. <laughs> That's like the only phrase I know. <laughs> but I forgot the link. But.
Dave did it once said, add on Z. Let's go.
I am a mountain goat! Fear me!
who that guy was. <laughs> they just, they just <laughs> oh, so funny. All right. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Dang it! All right, fine. We need some distance on this. Haley trolls seem to be territorial. Here we go. Sw swap now for mother of meeting. I love drowning hilly trolls. They're the light of my life. I get it. It's on those Kratos axe things. Missed it.
Oh my god! I can move! I can run uphill as long as it's sideways! Oh! What am I even looking at? What is this?
blaming did I? Did I? Apparently gliding speed is slightly faster Let's see Easiest route is to my right Here goes. Oh, now I start using up my SP.
But it'll cost you an apple. 3D Mario games of some kind of unique companion that makes them interesting and different from each other. Sunshine has Flood, Galaxy has Luma, 64 has uh, like, like the Cloud Guy, and Super Mario Odyssey has Cappy. For all of these games, these companions are pretty much required, and Odyssey oh, her name is Blue. The ability that Cappy introduced into the Mario series was capturing stuff, where Mario throws Cappy and transforms into whatever special thing it hits. This ability is used all over the game, and it's pretty obvious you need captures to progress, right? Well, that's actually not the case. There's a speed run for Super Mario Odyssey called Minimum Captures. The goal of the run is to beat the game with as little captures as possible. And the speedrunners who do this category are very, very close to making this capture mechanic completely obsolete. Today, I'm going to show you how they've done it. The insanity that is Minimum Captures. This story starts just one month after Super Mario Odyssey was released. At the time, the game was able to be completed with just 16 captures. Here's what the run looked like. A wire capture to leave Cap Kingdom, a chain chomp to get the first moon, three gold chain chomp captures to beat Madame Brutal, a Sherm to beat the Mecha Wiggler boss, a wire to reach the dragon boss, five wires to progress through Bowser's Kingdom, a Pokio capture to climb a wall, another wire to reach the Mecha Brutal, then Bowser and Moon Kingdom, and a final wire to beat the game. To get the amount of captures this low already, speedrunners had found a ton of capture skips. In Cap Kingdom, they skipped the frog capture, which was supposed to be the capture tutorial, with a tight jump right at the start. In Cascade, they could skip the 2D section, and by extension, the large chain chomp with a tricky jump from the ribs of the fossil. In Metro Kingdom, they skipped a wire with a big jump to enter the city, in the Mecha Brutal fight, there was a really tough strategy to climb up it without the use of a Pokio. And finally, there was a trick to completely skip the Moon Cave Gauntlet in Moon Cave. So that was it. 16 captures. And at the time, it seemed like that was the true minimum. But as the game aged, people started making discoveries. The first capture to be skipped was the Chain Chomp and Cascade. A clip out of bounds was found, where if you jumped up to the Odyssey area early and ground pounded a certain spot, Mario would just go through the floor. With this, Mario could simply swim out of bounds and hit the first moon from below, without even destroying the fossils around it. This lowered the captures to 15. The next capture to be skipped was a little unexpected. Some modders got a hold of the game and realized that the final wire to escape the moon wasn't actually a capture in the first place. Because it's a part of a cutscene, the game's code doesn't actually consider it a capture. And so, by around May of 2018, it was down to 14. But not really. There's something I haven't told you about yet. The Nut. At the end of November in 2017, just a month after the game came out, 000AJ discovered a glitch using a nut. It turns out, if one of these nuts gets wet by being thrown in some water, Mario can throw the nut, then dive into it, bounce, and grab it at the same time. This wet nut jump can be repeated indefinitely, giving Mario infinite height. 
The problem with this glitch is that it's hard. Like, really, really hard. The jump has a two-frame window to be done successfully. That's like one-thirtieth of a second. If someone could chain enough of these two-frame jumps in a row, they could theoretically skip a capture. The last wire in Bowser's Kingdom, as there's water and a nut right before the capture. But it was so difficult, no one was even willing to try. Like, if you messed up at all, Mario would die, and you'd have to restart the jump all over again. Now, if you know anything about speedrunning, you'll know that speedrunners really like to push the limits. If something is theoretically possible in a game, with enough time, someone will inevitably start grinding it out in order to be the first to do it. And in this case, with the nut jump, Grady was the first. On October 16th, 2018, almost a year after the glitch was discovered, and after six months of practicing the nut jump, Grady committed to doing a run. He reached the nut in Bowser's Kingdom in just over an hour, got it wet, and began to nut jump. On his very first attempt, he nearly made it, but missed an input right at the end. He kept trying until an hour and 40 minutes later, when, after 50 consecutive nut jumps, Grady became the first person to ever successfully skip the last wire in Bowser's Kingdom. He finished the run, and the minimum amount of captures was down to 13 for a while. In the following months, a few other runners managed to pull off the nut jump and hold the speedrun world record for the category. Fearsome Fire, Timpani, and myself, actually. There were a few theories as to how another capture might be skipped, and the most promising one involved skipping the Madame Brutal boss fight and her three gold chain jump captures. To leave Cascade Kingdom, you need to collect five moons, and at first glance, it seems like getting that amount of moons before the boss fight is impossible, because most of the kingdom is essentially locked before the boss is defeated. The sub-areas don't exist, and extra moons aren't available. The only moons present in the kingdom before the Madame Brutal fight is the first moon, which we determined can be collected without a capture, chomp through the rocks, which requires a chain chomp to open, behind the waterfall in the 2D area, which again requires a chain chomp, and treasure of the waterfall basin, which is in a cave locked off until the boss fight is completed. As it turns out, these four moons are actually possible to collect without capturing a single thing. A clip was found that allows Mario to slide through the rocks here to collect this moon. A faster clip was found for getting out of bounds near the first moon, and this can be used to collect both the first moon and the chest in the cave. The 2D waterfall moon is a bit trickier. By going out of bounds, it's possible to jump along some invisible platforms and just barely sneak into the 2D pipe without having to break open the rocks. And after all that, you have four moons, one short of being enough to leave. The theory was that if one more could be collected, the game might let you deposit them into the Odyssey and leave the kingdom early without fighting the boss. The thing is, there was one more moon in the kingdom that existed. The moon on the island in the sky. To collect this moon normally, the game expected you to get on the island through a painting from a later kingdom in the game. If there was some way to reach that moon early, then that would be enough. For a long time, that moon sat agonizingly just out of reach. There was no nut in the kingdom to nut jump with, and there was no glitch that could teleport Mario upwards. And in fact, to this day, there's no glitch that can teleport Mario directly up to that island. So if there's no glitch to get up there, then why am I telling you about this then? Well, it's because someone figured out a way to get Mario onto the island without using glitches. Something you might not know is that Super Mario Odyssey has a two-player mode. With two-player mode, it's possible to each other using two separate controllers, in addition to a few other movement options. In speedrunning, this mode isn't used very often despite actually being faster than one player, because it's so difficult to find two players in the same location that are willing to grind out runs on a regular basis. This didn't stop some speedrunners though, and this is where minimum captures starts to get crazy. Some speedrunners, such as 0423, learned how to play Odyssey using two controllers, with his hands and feet simultaneously. Using his hands and feet, he was able to triple jump off of the big fossil, cap jump, throw Cappy upwards, then dive with Mario. Then, as Mario was falling, he aimed Mario to the platform below, and moved Cappy, which was off screen, blindly to the island in the sky. He managed to get Cappy stuck on the island with Mario down below. Uh, getting Cappy on the island doesn't really seem to achieve anything at first because Mario himself needs to collect the moon, but what you might have noticed 
was that there's a checkpoint up there. By putting Cappy onto the checkpoint and switching to one player mode to look up at the island, it was possible to activate the checkpoint, to warp up to it early, and collect the final moon needed to escape Cascade. Was that there's a checkpoint up there. By putting Cappy onto the checkpoint and switching to one player mode to look up at the island, it was possible to activate the checkpoint, to warp up to it early, and collect the final moon needed to escape Cascade Kingdom without a capture. So Fortitude proved the jump was possible, but wasn't able to complete the nut jump. And that's where I came in. I held the 13 captures world record at the time, and I wanted to be the first to do a 10 captures run. So that day I got my feet all warmed up and started learning how to play with my feet. And it took a while, but after nearly six hours of attempts, I pulled it off and went on to complete the first ever 10 captures run of the game. And from this point on, the minimum captures was done with two controllers, hands and feet, simultaneously. From here, 10 captures remained, and there was only a single capture that anyone could conceive of skipping. The Pokio was Bowser's Kingdom. The Pokio was used to scale this huge wall, which has some platforms, but there aren't enough to get anywhere near enough height to get to the top without using the Pokio. But if there was some way to get up, then it would remove another required capture. There were some ideas tossed around over the next few months, the most likely one involved a long-known clip where a stairface ogre pushes Mario half out of bounds. There are a few invisible walls in this area, but nothing that helped Mario get any higher. Or so we thought. On February 4th, 2020, Marvel was messing around with the ogre clip and found that the rotating circles on the wall have invisible platforms that extend slightly out of bounds. If there was a way to get onto them from below, then it would be theoretically possible to skip the Pokio. It was a huge jump from the bottom to reach any of the circles, but it did seem barely possible. The one to prove it was possible was named Made for Mario. Made for Mario. Same trick jump strats. He was able to jump off of an invisible wall, land half out of bounds on the circle, jump up to the outer ring of the circle, then jump back in bounds to a platform around the corner. Jeez, you're playing this god! Mario could get the rest of the way up. Like, magic! Like, F you, physics and reality! I'm just gonna face through your walls! Your walls are illusions! But he wasn't as comfortable with the nut jump. So I learned the skip and managed to complete the first ever nine captures run of Super Mario Odyssey. What did I tell you? You are with nine captures remaining, the community had exhausted all of the theories for capture skips. It was only Wires and Cap and Ruined, the Sherman and Night Metro, Wires and Bowser's Kingdom, and Bowser at the end. All of these seemed 100% impossible. Mega Wiggler can be skipped. No conceivable way to even get close to skipping them. So nine captures is where it stayed for two weeks until the most absurd trick yet was discovered. Literal teleportation. It turns out two-player mode was far more broken than everyone initially thought. Circle, an avid glitch hunter, was messing around with a two-player mode glitch, where Cappy would teleport to the Odyssey after warping to a checkpoint sometimes. After some more experimentation, he started to get Cappy to teleport to seemingly random locations. But over a few days of rigorous testing by the community, they figured out how to teleport Cappy nearly anywhere. They called the trick the Cappy Return Cancel, or CRC for short. A CRC has two parts. The first part is just initiating the Cappy warp. When Cappy is far away, if you press a button to return Cappy to Mario, he starts to fly back to Mario for three seconds. If Cappy hasn't reached Mario yet after those three seconds, Cappy simply rats. teleports onto Especially Mario's head. But They're if the button is pressed again on the exact frame that it would teleport onto Mario, it goes somewhere completely different. Where it teleports to is a little complicated, but I'll give you the simplified version. Here's Mario and here's Cappy. Now, when Cappy moves around, it creates a sort of imaginary sphere between the two that changes in size depending on how far apart they are. When the warp is triggered, Cappy goes to wherever Mario's line of sight happens to intersect the sphere. But our people know now, what they saw. Now I did say this was a sphere. Something is like going on between the three-dimensional shape and the fatuity. So it's a little more complicated than that, but anyways, up, so by chaining multiple CRCs together, it's possible to manipulate Cappy to teleport nearly anywhere. Sure to give it so with an understanding of the CRC, 
It was time to put it to work. What capture was going to be skipped next using this new glitch? Uh, almost all of them, actually. And the first one was very unexpected. When you fly into Metro Kingdom for the first time, it's Night Metro. And the Mecha Wiggler is terrorizing the city. And there's like three moons you can collect before fighting it, so not even close to the 20 required to leave. But that's only when you fly into the kingdom for the first time. If you enter for the first time through a painting, and haven't officially unlocked the kingdom yet, it's actually still day. And the Mech Wiggler is nowhere to be seen. Of course, by entering through the painting from Sand Kingdom, you're on this tiny little island. But that doesn't matter, because Cappy can teleport now. By ground pounding with Cappy for a few minutes to make the imaginary sphere large enough to reach the mainland, then doing one CRC to raise up Cappy a bit, moving Mario to another position, and doing another CRC. It's possible to have Cappy teleport directly onto a checkpoint in the city, allowing Mario to reach Metro Kingdom before you've even completed sand. There's enough moons to collect the 20 required to leave, but because you're in the kingdom early, the Odyssey hasn't arrived yet. So the run has to backtrack to the earlier kingdoms in order to properly unlock Metro. Once you've reached Metro the intended way, it's just a matter of immediately tossing the moons into the Odyssey and leaving the kingdom <laughs> giving the Mecha Wiggler boss a <laughs> sure capture with it. I don't want to capture so I don't want to adventure. I want to get to the next thing. For the next two days, CRC I'm going to grind it out. Just to... wire capture in Bowser's kingdom. Because every wire had a checkpoint right next to it. Just find the right angles to stand on and how far down to ground pound Cappy. And you can teleport Cappy to every checkpoint in the kingdom. Unfortunately, there isn't a checkpoint after the nut jump wire, so nut jumping was still required. With all of the setups found, it was a mad scramble to be the first to complete a three captures run. I started a run. And the previous any percent world record holder, Nitro Vita, started attempts with the help of his friend Travis Percent as well. It was a race to see who could finish first. Something we didn't realize though was how stupidly hard these CRCs were. For the first CRC, I spent over two hours attempting it, only to miss the checkpoint ever so slightly, accidentally capturing the binoculars and having to restart the run. Something that I should reiterate about CRCs is that they are frame-perfect tricks. You have one sixtieth of a second to press a button, and there's no visual or audio cue to signify when that frame is. Essentially, you press a button, wait exactly three seconds, then press that button again. For the first runs, speedrunners used a metronome to help time these, but it was still so brutally precise. The second attempt, on, I got back to the little history. metro island, this and after only eight minutes of attempts, old. got it. The run wasn't over yet. There were more. four more CRCs in Bowser's Kingdom. It took 43 minutes of attempts to get the first know, CRC, know, 32 minutes of attempts to get the second, huh. nine minutes to get the third, and one hour, 40 minutes to get the last. We then, it was just the Pokio skip, and nut jump to finish off the run. Three captures, the new minimum. The first run was just under five hours, but over the following months, the minimum captures community improved a bunch of the tricks. They figured out how to make CRCs no longer frame perfect, still brutally hard, but much easier. They figured out that a CRC to hit the island checkpoint in Cascade was faster than the two-player jump. They figured out how to use a CRC to skip the Pokio instead of that insane wall climb. And after months of practice and the tricks becoming more and more consistent, the world record was passed around a few times. Myself, Ophir, and CJYA all held the record at some point, with the fastest time being currently held by CJYA at 1 hour, 21 minutes, 3 seconds. And there are only 3 captures left. These 3 captures being the Wire in Cap Kingdom, the Wire in Ruined Kingdom, and Bowser on the Moon. No one's been able to skip these captures yet. There are a few crazy Easy theories brewing though. Runners and glitch hunters alike are still finding cracks in the game to this day. There's still lots of glitches to be discovered yet, and one day it may just reach zero. Am I glad you're here? If you enjoyed this episode of Lowest Percent, consider subscribing to the channel for more high. Bring you up to speed on the latest situation. Let's see. Oh, your excellency, isn't this the captain of Swordfish 2? Will he be based on Watatsumi Island from now on? Your excellency. <sighs> Please, remain calm, everyone. I'll get around to all your queries. Though, the longer ones, 
one. I'd prefer it if you could write a report and submit it to the shrine. Then I can respond to each one as and when I have the time. Are you all right? <laughs> this kind of thing is water off a duck's back for you, huh? Your Excellency, here you are. There's been a situation. We're still waiting on the delivery of a whole batch of ceremonial items. I'm beginning to worry that they've been stolen. Oh! We retrieved those already. No need to worry. Really? That's fantastic! You never cease to amaze us, Your Excellency. I sorted through all the petitions received recently and placed them on your... You were just in time for your meeting today on the development of the textiles industry. That's today? Uh, right now? Yes. The two young ladies have arrived safely. We're just waiting for you. Hmm... I see... <sighs> I was hoping to take a walk around the island with you, but it looks like we'll have to save that for some other time. <sighs> well, let's rendezvous tomorrow at the entrance to Sangonomiya Shrine. Then we'll go and make preparations for the victory feast. Yay! The victory feast! Um, just to be clear, we're talking lots of delicious food, right? <laughs> That's the name of the game. There'll be some Watatsumi Island specialties, which I'm sure you'll enjoy. Great! See you tomorrow, then! <sighs> Stuff like this. Defeat local legend, Liam. Never heard of him. La 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 le topic I'm afraid she isn't here at the moment. I don't know where she's gone. So, so strange. 
guess we should just call it a rain check, 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 check then? Not necessarily. Not necessarily. If, if I recall correctly, her excellency, her excellency has made special has made provisions for such a scenario in her general operational directives. Uh, let me uh, see. Ah, uh, 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 yes. Uh, yes. Number 98. Number 98. Should, a should a visitor from afar come, from come to see me, see and should my whereabouts be unknown, be unknown direct, direct them to proceed them to southward until, until they arrive at a tree with purple, purple foliage. foliage. The footnote, the footnote stipulates, stipulates that this only applies when Her Excellency has made no communication regarding her whereabouts before disappearing, and even then, only when the visitor in question is of VIP status. As far as, as far as I'm concerned, concerned you two tick all of the, the boxes. I keep this directive on me at all times. I'm sure I'm this sure is the right course of action. action. Coco, you really can't think, can't think, think of anything. All right, all right, let's find the place you want to be and have a look.
Wait, you, aren't you a healer? You're like a water woman. Water woman with water money. The only, like, water user, hydro user that isn't wealthy AF is, like, Broke Mona. Hmm. Uh, wait, Barbara's there. I have to reconsider. <laughs> it's just a figure of speech. Oh, oh. I'm ashamed to admit it, but, but I can't think how it can always be any capable, capable person I present myself as. Oh, oh. You noticed? You noticed? Mermaid. You're just gonna know where it is. Today I spent the entire afternoon arguing with representatives from the Merchant Association. Energy minus four. 
Many things must be settled. I need to ensure that they allow the goods to flow. Well, money is made through legal means. Today I finish a day's worth of work. Energy minus three. I have enough directives tonight. Hopefully this won't go on too late. The wind is very strong outside. <laughs> Energy th minus two. It seems like it will rain soon. Alright. News of the peace talks reached us today. Energy plus two. At, at an end to this world will surely make everyone happy, won't it? Today I received word that the Tenriel Commission might be colluding with the Fatui. Energy minus five. Even I'm struggling to understand what's going on. Swordfish 2's captain came back today. Energy plus four. But <laughs> she loves him. Uh, we tactfully agreed not to speak of Topai. And no one spoke of those who sacrificed their lives during the war. This peace was far too hard fought. <laughs> Lots of people spoke to me today again. Energy minus three. Uh, taking a look at their earnest faces, I can't help but think back to the time that I took up the post of divine priestess. Have I really lived up to their expectations? So. News of Pete's talks and the war finally over. That's just two. Traveler showing up. It's plus four. It's like twice that amount. Right, so, so the traveler gives her energy equivalent to an entire afternoon arguing with representatives from the Merchant Association. His arrival is worth the same amount of energy as an entire afternoon of arguing. We saw nothing. And if we did, it it was all Paimon's fault. Power of TikTok.
I used to think that I needed to find the right person to be happy, but that was before I discovered dying alone. With dying alone, you no longer need to waste time trying to impress others because you've accepted the fact that no one is going to love you anyways. And dying alone allows you to be your true self without any of that unnecessary stuff like shaving, deodorant, or social skills. Oh, Think bingo. about it this way. The less amount of people you allow into your life, the less amount of people there is to disappoint. <laughs> Try dying alone today. Oh, yeah. Like a lot of people, I used to think that I needed to find the right person. A 13-year-old boy tried to fight me today, but by pure coincidence, I happened to know his mom on a first-name basis. I yelled her name, she looked at me and smiled, and after that I told him, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna fuck, fuck your mom. <laughs> I gave that boy more psychological damage than any ex-girlfriend he will ever have. A 13 year old- I'll tell you what they're gonna do about homelessness. First thing, change the name of it. Change the name of the condition. It's not homelessness, it's houselessness. It's houses these people need. A home is an abstract idea. Would you rather have you- I would- uh. I am the stone that is a... Cheer says, personally, I wouldn't let that fly. Watch. Okay, what's happening on top of that mountain is known as an anime fight quest. Gentlemen, gentlemen, let's be civil about this. Let's make a deal. You surrender and you don't die. How does that Alright, I'm gonna save this for when I start yes. finding stuff. Okay, sure. You're a little out and around. 
Axolotls can completely regrow body parts like limbs, jaws, hearts, and even parts of their brain. After losing a body part like that, they can grow it back perfectly up to five times. This is much better than humans who can grow back their legs a total of zero times. Axolotls can completely regrow body parts. I'm true. I'm a mother now. What do you do? I repel witches. How do you do it? I scare them. What scares them? Pumpkins. Why? Witches don't like pumpkins. And if I don't like pumpkins either, does that make me a witch too? No, just means you have good taste. Uh, uh, and why do you talk? By a spell. Who did it? A witch. Why? Because witches don't like pumpkins! Here, have a fish. You can call me what everyone else calls me. What's that? No, I have no idea what it means, but it's just the cutest little name. You can call me whatever. <laughs> Stop, sir! Don't walk that way! What's wrong, Takeuchi? Take, Take a look at the ground. Huh? Well, well, thanks. Oh, the ground's drawn on an animation cell. How many animation characters have died because they failed to recognize it? You did a great job. Thank you for finding it. Ah! Oh, shit. They did a really complicated animation sequence there. Hey, director, this ground was drawn on a cell. It was easier to do it this way than to cut the foreground out of cardboard. I don't want to hear excuses. Let's be off. Right. This is the place we want? Yes. Our information said the one we're looking for was in this house. Mm. Hey, this door isn't drawn on an animation cell. Normally they draw the door on a cell so it can open like this. This is ridiculous. No, sir, not like that. This door opens like this! <laughs> uh. Boy, this is a lot of trouble. Well, where is the one? Well, our source said it would be in a desk in this room. A desk drawer? I've got a bad feeling about this. I see. As I thought, these drawers aren't drawn on separate cells. Sir, remember what will happen if you open the wrong drawer. What will happen? Kaboom! Uh, I hadn't heard anything about that. The director made it up just now. <laughs> in any case, the one we're looking for is in one of these drawers. The bottom one shouldn't move because the pattern is too complicated. I have to choose between the top one or the middle one. Is this it? Oh! <laughs> yes, it's the one. But how did you know which drawer to look in? It's easy. Look at the handles on the drawers. One has a complicated shape that wouldn't be easy to retrace during movement. With the one in the middle, it's not necessary to retrace. I don't think anyone except an animation fan would understand this, but what great reasoning! Babe, you'll burn yourself if you fall in love with me. <laughs> Sir! Bye-bye! <laughs> kill you but my buddy can say hi buddy <laughs> gentlemen gentlemen let's be civil about this let's make a deal you surrender and you don't die how does that sound <laughs> and how do you intend to kill us oh no i can't kill you but my buddy can say hi buddy <laughs> I want, I want this one to last a bit longer. No wonder Your Excellency chose you. Chose you. you really do Girl, have, you a have a way as well. Then, then maybe you maybe can understand, you can understand us. us. Civil about this. Let's make a deal. You surrender and you don't die. How does that sound? <laughs> and how do you intend to kill us? Oh, no, I can't kill you. But my buddy can. Say hi, buddy. <laughs>
国。To her plushies to accomplish everyday tasks. I mean, it blows bubbles. Sorry, Sir and Tendant Shivamaran. You have to address them by their names, or Farina will throw cake at you. <laughs> Farina's attack animation is triggering me. Genshin realized that they wasted a good attack animation on a crappy character, so they went and stole Dory's move and gifted it to a better character. Honestly, this is causing me more distress than I anticipated. Why does she do that? Farina's attack at him like the ver- I'm fine, fine. Genshin is getting This is my fault. If only I perceived what they were feeling earlier, earlier, it never would have come to this. I think I understand what goes and means and he says it's too late. The talks don't begin until tomorrow, but both sides have already sent their guards to the location. They are responsible for making sure the area is safe and secure. I highly suspect that one of Kozen's pro-war co-conspirators will have infiltrated the guards with an intent to reignite hostilities to Rome during the negotiations. Well, that's not good. Do you want me to head over there now and switch out the guards? That won't work. Firstly, the act of bringing a new team of guards to a neutral negotiation site will put both sides on high alert. It would almost certainly push the pro-war faction into taking action. They would attack the Temporal Commission's guards and then the invasion of war breaking out once again. Not to mention, we have no idea how many Blood-Pets and Elven soldiers are involved in this plot. If we change the guard in guard's teeth, we face the issue of not knowing who to trust. Sounds like a really tricky situation. Uh-huh. So if there really happened, we can take it. Don't let it worry you. What's done is done. Now it sounds to me to devise a counter plan. These soldiers crossed the line, but the blame was not theirs alone. Whatever happens, I will find a way to ensure they do not come to harm. Let's meet here again tomorrow. created another universe and founded paradise for I, Fischl, and the princess and Dufa er oh.
created another universe and founded paradise. For I, Fischl, and the Princess and Defa Earth. This floor here has been there before. You know, I think I get it. I get it now. Those are some of the dumbest words I've ever said. But with that music afterward, you feel it. It just makes the words so compelling. You try now. Just say the stupidest thought on your mind. Communism was. I have a um, stick. I How do I automatically agree to this? It was played because creators right, wanted right. people to not just hear their words, but feel their words. Feel their words. I think I get it. So just say some random nonsense and we'll do one. Okay. I have a stick. You know, I think I get it. I get it now. Those are some of the dumbest words I've ever said. But with that music afterward, you feel it. It just makes the words so compelling. You try now. Just say the stupidest thought on your mind. Communism. Look, that's pretty tight. How does that work? How do I automatically agree with you when that music plays? I thought you said it was noise, not music. This isn't just music. This is art. Now play it again. What are they doing? A whale shark opened its mouth. There's so many. But you've got a solution to each one. Hyman suddenly feels a little less nervous. Hey, these peace These talks peace are talks quite are exceptional. exceptional. It is a major, is a major step, forward, step forward, both for Wakatsuma Island, Island, Island and the Shogunate. The Shogunate. But, but any amount of dissatisfaction with an all ranks are negotiations. We will have we to work have to all work the harder if we want if we these talks to be a success. success. As the divine priestess of Watatsuma Island, Island, this responsibility is, of course, mine to shoulder. Second, oh, there's something I have to record to play back.
Let's just cycle through them. created another universe and founded paradise for I, Fischl, and the princess and the earth. Supplication. I created another universe and founded paradise for I, Fischl, and the princess and the earth. created another universe and founded paradise for I, Fischl, and the princess and for Earth. Found it. about the well-being of my retinue during my impromptu absence. I'm sure the good people of the Adventurer's Guild are absolutely fine in Foyle. I created... 
created another universe and founded paradise. For I, Fischl, and the Princess and Dipper er oh. Church, they have these two hand sanitizer stations right by the front door greeters. That is not a good message. People come in on Sunday. How you doing? Nice to see you. All. It's good to see you. Thanks for coming. You're gonna love it here. We just love people. You can just be yourself. You can just be yourself. We don't care. We don't judge you. We just love. You sit back and whatever questions you have, you let us know. We'll let you know whatever we can do for you, okay? Y'all newly married? You got four kids? Four kids. That is amazing. God bless you. We love kids here. Kids are like a little gift from God is what they are. They are just wonderful little creatures that God gives us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, where y'all from? Arkansas? Okay. There's a lot of hate. 
Ooh. Left the law. No, man, absolutely not. So this right here is a TikTok that I was tagged in where this guy can be seen straight up missing the skin from his palm. What's even crazier is the skin that's missing from his palm is sitting right here on the hood of this car completely intact. Like this right here is absolutely not normal. Human leather! The conclusion that I could come up with for what caused this is something known as keratolysis exfoliativa. Your vessels will be quite sick. Negotiations seem to be going pretty smoothly. Ooh, and now it's loading. The next All right. Has to do with the Which basically means excessive exfoliation of skin. Now, typically, this is what this ailment is going to look like. It's not going to be too extreme. But if you look this up, you can find a lot of really extreme photos of this. I can't show them here because it's probably a little too graphic. Keratolysis exfoliativa can be caused by a variety of things, but one of the most common ones are chemical burns. And obviously, the deeper into your skin this chemical seeps, the worse your skin is going to peel. I propose that we have a <laughs> Do you have any sense of what religion will be in the future of civilization? Religion was an early attempt to answer the questions we all ask. Why are we here? Where did we come from? Nowadays, science provides better and more consistent answers, but people will always cling to religion because it gives comfort, but they do not trust or understand science. Do you have any sense? I think one of the most insane things that I've ever learned is that not everyone has a voice in their head. You might have seen that Apple visualization test where... Just now, a Canadian photographer, the amount of time it takes for our sun to travel around the Milky Way is so unfathomably long. Hey, fingers on the fender, boys. Why? Do you anything wrong? Can't work on cars in the street, yes, eh? Fingers on the hood. We're not doing repairs, yes, eh? I'm just showing them the engine. Hands on the hood. Now. Screw that, you got no cause. What are you, some kind of lawyer? Pre-law SMC, actually. Are you threatening me? What happens when you throw the badge? Doug. Officer West, I thought you had my six. I do. Then watch those two while I deal with Mr. Lawyer here. Hey, 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 stop, stop. Look, you three back in your car, have a nice day. Sorry for the trouble. You're done, Boot. What you just did is a fireable offense. I'm going straight to the city manager. I don't care if your daddy works for IA. He's not going to be able to see you now. You know what, dumbass? My daddy, he doesn't work for IA. He runs it. So if you're coming for my job, he'll come for yours. No, I, I'm done tiptoeing around your racist ass. Damn it, walk it. Y'all see that robot right here? Touch screens were invented at the Library of Congress by someone who wanted people to be able to tour the place without having to print paper. And so they had these screens, and you could touch the screen and navigate maps of the Library of Congress for tourists. So this was a grant, a government grant to do its innovative thing. It took off. Touch screen, we take that for granted. Touch screens were invented at... Can magnets really destroy all... Situation has changed. Please stand by for further orders. Rest assured, I am fully aware of your concerns, but I will deal with the situation from here. Madam Kujo, this is rather serious. I believe you owe Watatsumi Island an explanation. Excuse me for a moment. Nobody makes another move until I have finished investigating. You two, here, now! Collusion with the Fatui? Is this true? Um, I wouldn't exactly call it collusion as such. We were approached by a few Fatui. They mentioned a potential cooperation to keep the war against Watatsumi Island going. At the time, I felt like we could give it a try. After all, there'd be nothing to lose. 
but we were extremely careful. We didn't agree to anything. We just said they could maybe start by heading to Wanatsumi Island and stirring things up a little. Then we'd see how it went. With respect, ma'am, there was no collusion. It was just a one-off conversation. How anyone from Watatsumi Island even found out about it, I have no idea. That's enough. When we return, when we return there, will, there be will be consequences. Might I remind you that this is the Fatui? Have you completely forgotten what they did to us? You should be having no interaction with them whatsoever, let alone entertaining offers of cooperation. So, what did they want out of it? The Fatui's main forces have already left Inazuma. The few who approached us seemed like they wanted to settle a score for their boss. Oh, her subordinates. So they're out for revenge. They want to keep Inazuma in a state of turmoil. One day, I will hunt them down. Every last one. We bear responsibility for this issue. My sincere apologies. I have my own negligence to blame for this state of affairs. Please, please, grant us another chance to continue the peace talks. <laughs> but of course, Madam Kujo, I have every confidence in your ability to resolve this situation. For the time being, however, there is evidently some discord within the Tenryo Commission's ranks. I would therefore not feel comfortable releasing Watatsumi Island's forces into your command at this time. It seems that I must acquiesce. I will lay this issue aside for now. But we shall revisit it as soon as the Tenryo Commission has resolved our internal issues. As for the trade issues we raised, I will discuss options with the Yashiro Commission and make sure both sides have ample participation in the final arrangement. Seems like Kujo Tsara's on the defensive now. These negotiations should be smooth sailing from here on out. I never knew never the grand knew strategist of Watatsumi Island, Island was a skilled negotiator, as well as a formidable commander. I hope that, I hope that when we meet again, we can continue, we can continue these sit-down sit discussions. discussions. Settling our differences on the battlefield is rather taxing. I think we can leave things there for today. Once I get back, I will conduct a thorough investigation into the Tenryo Commission's internal issues. I should inform you that we took out a Fatui camp recently. And I suspect that before long, they will attempt to re-establish contact with your people in the hope of procuring some assistance. I recommend you say and do nothing on the matter for the time being, lest you tip them off and they disappear. Wait for them to come to you. That way, you can capture them all in one fell swoop. I will bear this in mind. Thank you. I shall take, I shall my, take leave my leave now. Until we meet, Until again. We meet again. Your Excellency, we... Let's discuss, discuss it after we get after back. We get back. Thank you.
worry about the well-being of my retinue during my impromptu absence. I'm sure the good people of the Adventurer's Guild are absolutely fine, Mein Fräulein. And the princess and Dipper are... Uh, another universe and found in paradise for I, official. May the glory of the Princessin bring light to this world. I 
created another universe and founded paradise. For I, Fischl, and the Princess and Dissa Earth. I'm sure the good people of the Adventurers Guild are absolutely fine in Foyland. bring light to this world. the well-being of my retinue during my impromptu absence. I'm sure the good people of the Adventurers Guild are absolutely fine, main Foylight. Supplication. I created another universe and founded paradise for I, Fischl, and the Princess and Dipper Earth. created another universe and founded paradise for I, Fischl, and the Princess and Dipper Earth. Supplication.
another universe and founded paradise. For I, Fischl, am the princess and the er oh. created another universe and founded paradise. For I, Fischl, and the princess and different Earth. the well-being of my retinue during my impromptu absence. I'm sure the good people of the Adventurers Guild are absolutely fine, main Fräulein. another universe and founded paradise for I, Fischl, and the princess and the Earth. <laughs> I hear the voice of fate. Speaking my name in humble supplication. I created another universe and founded paradise. For I, Fischl, and the princess and of the Earth. the voice of fate, speaking my name in humble supplication. I created another universe and founded paradise for I, Fischl, and the princess and the Earth. Do worry about the 
the well-being of my retinue during my impromptu absence. I'm sure the good people of the Adventurers Guild are absolutely fine, new Foyline. another universe and found a paradise for I, Fischl, and the princesses of the Earth. Dun thumb, M-O-G thumbs up. Voice of fate, speaking my name in humble supplication. 
application. I created another universe and found a paradise for I, Fischl, and the princess and Dufa Earth. during my impromptu absence. I'm sure the good people of the Adventurer's Guild are absolutely fine in Foylight. Supplication. I'm sure the good people of the Adventurers Guild are absolutely fine in Foyland. Supplication. I created another universe and found a paradise for I, Fischl, and the Princess and Dipper Earth. I'm sure the good people of the Adventurers Guild are absolutely fine in Foyland.
I'm sure the good people of the Adventurers Guild are absolutely fine in Foyla. Supplication. I created another universe and founded paradise. For I, Fischl, and the Princess and Dufa Earth. I'm sure the good people of the Adventurers Guild are absolutely fine in Foyland.
May the glory of the princessin bring light to this world. I created another universe and found a paradise. For I, Fischl, am the princessant of the Earth. Your Excellency, you knew? I have already been informed on the reasons for your actions. You believe the Tenryo Commission to be untrustworthy and sought to sabotage the peace talks and reignite the war. Fortunately, the end result exposed and thwarted a secret Tenryo Commission plot. Yet, this was purely incidental, and the end certainly did not justify your means. But Your Excellency, so many comrades have sacrificed themselves in the line of duty. If we stop now, aren't all of our efforts going to waste? I want to keep fighting. I want ultimate victory, even if it means I have to pay the ultimate price. I understand your sentiments, but you cannot simply impose your will and expect others to bear the consequences. Sounds like they just want to die in glory and stuff. And in the end, there was a glorious victory. For you, perhaps, the experience was one of great excitement. But you but saw you nothing saw of the nothing countless, of the others, countless others, others who will remember the war quite, the war quite differently. differently. Most people Most suffer people terribly through each day. day. Watatsumi Island's, Island's people yearn for peace because, because they have long they have since long given all, all they had to the war effort. effort. They, are they are tired of tired dreading of water, water and don't need you dragging them back underneath once again. I... but... I understand, I do. And the fault is not yours alone. It was largely an oversight on my part. They taught you to nurture a warrior's will, but never how to let it go. It's not your fault, Your Excellency. It was ours. Our selfishness. Either way, we are ready to accept sentencing under martial law. Very well. Then I hereby declare... Totally innocent. Go kill people. But as of today, as of today I am founding a new a secret new core of the, of the army. army. This division, this division will, be will be responsible for keeping Watatsumi Island safe, safe and secure, secure. Neutralizing, neutralizing enemy and, enemy and all threats, and all to, the threats to the peace of our island. Of our island. You and your comrades will all be welcome to join. But be warned, the training will be grueling. Perseverance and grit will be in high demand. Your Excellency, what are you saying? I have concluded from today's peace talks that the Kujo clan cannot achieve absolute peace and stability in the near future. Many seek peace, but there are still those who pursue war. It is right that Watatsumi Island moves towards peace, but we must still retain a defensive capacity. Those whose warrior's will is alive and well, I invite you to embark on the most challenging training regimen of your lives. I don't, I don't want to hear from any of you any again of until again. all of you can take on two shogunate samurai at a time. Uh, uh, thank, you, thank you, Your Excellency. Your Excellency. All right, dismissed. dismissed. 
Go and report to General Goro. And remember, there can be no more insubordination. And if there is, there will be no more leniency from me, whatever reasons you may have. Yes, ma'am. From now on, we will focus on our training. Thank you for this opportunity, Your Excellency. We'll report to General Goro right away. Here he goes. Too long. Today was 
just a reminder that I don't go well in situations with lots of people. I've improved, but I still get nervous when more than a half of people are involved. I think I might get forward to handle the negotiations next time. Do you think so? To be honest, I'm still a long way off what's expected of a divine priestess. In the past, I was concerned only with winning the war, restoring peace, and making sure everyone could live a happy life. But I realize now that wasn't going far enough. People have all kinds of aspirations. In just as many measures of happiness. I have a long way to go. But that's okay. If I can't make the journey in one giant leap, I'll just have to settle for taking it one small step at a time. In short, I've still got some maturing to do. Could you stay here on Watatsumi Island? To keep me company for a while longer?
like this wine tastes the same as I remember. Is another man's job.
awesome. I did the thing.
I don't have time for this. Double Sealy!
Oh, cool. Transferring from the stabilize. Come <laughs> on. 
You know, for an Archon quest, it's surprisingly lacking in vocals. I do is the crystal guides and the crystal is guiding me in that direction So... Ayo, 
we attack? You attacked us first! Self-defense! Katarina Another universe,
I am a mountain goat. Look at me. Look at this incline. Look at this steep incline. Like a boss. Oh yes, I keep the bank rolling.
Oh, whoa. Okay, I don't mind the interruption now that I see a sexy lady. That uh, thigh. Mmm, the side boob. Reminds me of the sky nail. Oh, it is.
You too. It has been a long time. We have not seen each other since the resolution of the Tenryu Contention Crisis. Okay, that's more like A. It is you, right? You sure be sure we work with them. That was amazing. I'm making early preparations for what is to come. Last time we took a walk around Inazuma together, I witnessed the way the world is today. I was finally I was able to comprehend, able to comprehend, comprehend some things that I had that never I had understood never in the past. Since then, Since then every, time every time I encounter an encounter obstacle in my thinking, in my thinking I, find I find myself having the urge to spend some time, time in the outside in the world. Makes sense. Makes sense. You must get you must your boy for stuck in there all the time. All the time. Might I remind you that I am not I here am to here amuse to myself? myself. Recently, I have observed a number of changes in the external world from the plane of Euthymia. The most serious of these being the attack on the sacred Sakura by numerous rift towns. I considered this matter worthy of my attention, so I pursued them, and they led me here, where I happened to run into you. Shogun rather than I were to discover them. Yes. Perhaps she would have left the situation alone. Why? Because she's just a puppet? Precisely. According to the rules I designed for her, matters of this nature are to be delegated to the Tri Commission. But Rift House attacking the sacred Sakura. It brings back bad memories of that terrible disaster. A disaster? disaster? Yes. Yes. 
500 years ago, a great catastrophe befell Inazuma. Everything was engulfed in a pitch black fog, and monsters ravaged the land. Countless lives were lost, and this homeland that the people had worked so hard to build barely escaped being obliterated entirely. The monsters committed many atrocities on Inazuman soil, and the Rift Hounds were always their advance guard. Their duty was to tear open a passage through space with their claws and teeth, and then call in even more powerful beasts. Conria. So you've heard, so of, you've it heard of it too. That's an episode, That's an of, history episode of history that I am alive to recall. Maybe to you, Maybe to you. it seems like, it my, seems response like my response to these, to these creatures, creatures was an excessive one. But an excess of caution is not a in this case. Guess you can't argue with that. Since we are both here for the same reason, let us work together. From the traces From the they've traces left they've in the surrounding, the surrounding area, area, there should be there many should be more many monsters, more nearby. monsters nearby. All of them, All of them must, must be eliminated. For transferring commodities back and forth, and those that come across me tend to stay in one. So that's where many things come to sell. Does Mantis wine taste the same as I remember? But where are those who share it?
too serious. Too serious. The Yashiro Commission will be able to nurse the root system back to health. This stuff that's flowing out is a sad stuff. How come it's glowing? Whoa, she has an electro stamp on the back of her neck. On her nape. This, this is Inazuma at, at peace, as you will no you doubt, remember. doubt remember. There are no, there are monsters, no monsters, nor is there, nor is there anything, anything else here, here that could threaten, that could threaten, your, threaten life. your life. What? what? But, but how? How? Just moments ago, they, they were everywhere. everywhere. I saw them tear my comrades to shreds with my own eyes. Hey, calm down. Calm down. Everything's fine. Huh. I think I understand. I think I understand. Almighty, Almighty Shogun. Shogun. You saved you Inazuma. Saved Inazuma. <laughs> yes, yes. We were right we were to right place our, our, our trust in the Almighty in the Shogun. Almighty Shogun. <laughs> as long as the Shogun is with us, Inazuma will last for an eternity. Thank you. Thank you. Your Excellency. Your Excellency. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. What we just, what we just saw, saw was a samurai's, was a samurai's memory, memory that was buried, that was buried in, the in the land. The sacred the sakura, sakura can absorb and purify the filth in the ley lines. After the rift was attacked, some of the spill leaked out through the cracks in the trunk and formed, and formed a physical entity. An entity, An entity formed, formed with strong filth would be highly would be aggressive. aggressive. But when purified, but when purified it presents in the form of a memory. Purified filth quickly, quickly dissipates and will be absorbed by the ley lines shortly afterwards. In other words, it cannot it exist cannot for too long. too long. So the memories of the, the ones that died are all dying at this, at this moment? moment? Yes, yes. That soldier was one of the many thousands who made the ultimate sacrifice. What he was describing just now? was precisely, was precisely the disaster, the disaster that, happened that happened in Inazuma, 500, 500 years, ago. years ago. Yes. Yes. 
Inazuma was facing many great crises at that time. Some were local in origin, while others... Others came from the now fallen kingdom of Kanria. The disaster in Inazuma caused me great concern. I felt that I had to step in before it was too late. Otherwise, it would spread to all of Tevat. But my friend, my friend, Kitsune Saiko, reassured me that I had nothing to worry about. She would shoulder the responsibility of protecting Inazuma and mobilize all forces at her disposal to combat the threat. I could tell that, although neither of us acknowledged it, we both knew that the road ahead was set. Inazuma was attacked at the same time as when the disaster happened in Kanria? Indeed, indeed. Countless monsters suddenly appeared throughout all of Inazuma. In the end, Kitsune Saigu sacrificed her life to protect the people. I never had the chance to see her one last time. But I would like to believe that she kept her promise to me until the very last. But even then, Inazuma was left more devastated than we could have ever imagined. Those terrible tragedies left great wounds that are still felt to this day, both on the land itself and in my heart. Yes. Yes. For the longest time, time, I couldn't I bring couldn't myself bring to face the pain of that loss. All my All martial my might, might was, in vain. was in vain. Though I could Though conquer Tatarigami and, and vanquish monsters, I was, I was helpless, helpless against, against the ravages, the ravages of, time. of time. Powerless, powerless to keep the to ones, keep the I, ones cherished I cherished alive. alive. <sighs> but, but. After my clash with human ambition, ambition, I thought long and hard. hard. Now I now realize I, I cannot I fixate, fixate on the past, on forever. past forever. When I traveled, when I traveled around Inazuma with, with you, I caught a glimpse caught a of how the nation has progressed over the centuries. Over the centuries. A, glimpse a glimpse of human potential. Human potential. Everything, Everything far exceeded far my, expectations. my expectations. Moving, Moving forward, forward inevitably, inevitably invites invite further loss. For the loss. But also, also new, encounters. new encounters. Just think of that soldier. Think of that soldier. Despite, Despite all the losses, all the losses he, had he had experienced, he still, he still chose, chose to keep, to fighting, keep fighting, fighting for the sake for the of sake moving of forward. Moving forward. All those who sacrificed themselves, themselves back then, back then gave, their gave their lives fighting, fighting for, a for a future. But, but perhaps, perhaps the future, the future they were they hoping were for, hoping for it's not it's the not eternity the that I that once strove for. for. As Inazuma's Inazuma god, god, it is high time I honored their wishes. wishes. Warriors, Warriors of, the of the past who spilled who your spilled blood, your on, blood this land. on this land, your noble, your noble souls, souls now rest now in this earth. earth. I will, I never, will forget never forget you, forget you. and all that all you did you for, did Inazuma. for Inazuma. He's taking all this part of your heart. Come on, come on. Let's keep Let's investigating keep the damage, the damage to, the to the sacred Sakura. Sakura.
E. An attack of Why would you ask that? I'm simply conserving my energy, although I have some understanding of the situation already. It could take an unexpected turn at any time. I must be prepared for anything. If there are more formidable monsters lying in this area, I must make sure I have the strength to face them. You shower, you shower, praise, praise undeserved. undeserved. I have simply had the good fortune, good fortune to be in your excellency's presence long, long enough to become acquainted with all, all the skills that are required of me. me. It sounds it like sounds the almighty like shogun, shogun has brought a guest. I'm afraid I'm, afraid I'm unable, unable to serve you any respectable refreshments on account of the current situation. situation. But, please, but please, sit and sit rest. And rest. After all, it's quite a it's mess, quite out, a mess there. out there. Um, um, what you, what do you think? Oh, oh, um, um, yeah, yeah. Sheesh. There's monsters there's everywhere, everywhere out, there. out there. It's pitch black, black and black and black people and people and people and I see. I see. So, so they have fought they have their fought way this, this far, far already. already. 
Most of the residents in this neighborhood have already escaped. They wanted to take me with them, but it seemed rather pointless to me. So I decided to stay. And now the Almighty Shogun is here. I have even less reason to run away. <laughs> Imagine, Imagine this was something this was some the almighty the show was powerless, was powerless to resolve. Where could I Where possibly, possibly run, run to run then? People flee, people flee out of a desire, of a desire to, live to live on, and the desire to live on stems from a feeling of having unfinished, unfinished business, business in life. In life. But, me, but me, I have no, I such, have thoughts, no such thoughts, and I have and no, I regrets. no regrets. The Almighty the Shogun, Shogun often, often speaks, speaks to me speaks about her dreams, dreams over tea. Over tea. Just, listen Just listen to her to stories. Her stories. Ah. Ah. I've, I've been blind for blind many, for many years, years, but her vivid but her descriptions, descriptions took me on a splendid, splendid journey, journey to all, all the most beautiful, beautiful places, places in Izuma. Over time, over time I've, come I've come to understand her mindset. Her mindset. Quite the romantic at heart. A true dreamer. One thing she, One thing always, she says, always says is, good things, good things don't, last, don't forever. last forever. Everything, Everything changes, changes, fades, fades disappears, disappears completely over the passage, the passage of, time. of time. And so, and so people must people make the must most make the of the life they, the life they have, have. Seize, seize the chance to enjoy it while it lasts, and have no and have regrets, regrets in the end. In the end. So you see, so you see as, bleak as bleak as things may things be, now, be now, I have experienced, I have experienced countless, countless wonderful, wonderful things in life, life and have no and reason, no reason not, to be not to be satisfied. <laughs> Perhaps, Perhaps you, are right. you are right. It won't be, it won't long, be long now before, before I have to say, say goodbye to the almighty Shogun for the last time. Ah, what a pity. I'll never get to see what Inazuma looks like after the Almighty Shogun rebuilds it anew. But I suppose it doesn't matter. Everyone says that Inazuma has turned dark now. But to me, it went dark a long time ago. Once this catastrophe is over, life is sure to spring forth anew. But even if I survived until then, I'd probably, I'd probably be a hopelessly, be a hopelessly befuddled, befuddled old so and so by then. <laughs> so, so, never mind. Never mind. Eh? <sighs> oh, goodness, oh me. goodness me. Speaking, Speaking of befuddled, of befuddled look at me rambling, rambling away to my heart's content and forgetting to serve the tea. The, tea. the Almighty the Shogun comes, comes to visit, and I don't have the tea ready. A truly what I'll just, I'll just hmm? Hmm? Where in the world Where is the, the tea, world set? tea set? <laughs> I hope the others didn't smash, smash it to smithereens in their hasty, hasty their departure. departure. Gracious, what a fool I'm fool making of myself. myself. I couldn't possibly have my guests fetch it themselves. That would be most discourteous indeed. Don't worry about it. Take a rest. We'll be back right away. Almighty Shogun, you're not going to, are you? No, no, no. Your humble servant implores you. This place is complicated. It's quite unlike the tea house in your memories. Leave it to us. Leave it to us. But, but, well, okay. Well, okay. I never thought, I I'd, never see thought I'd see the day that I need the Almighty Shogun to personally, personally collect my tea set for me. For me. I can't decide I can't whether decide it's a final it's regret, regret or a final or a stroke final of good stroke fortune. <laughs>
the board. The board. You've, ruined You've ruined my strategy, my strategy in one move. In one move. Amazing. Amazing. Hmm. Now what should, now I, do what should I do next? I am not holding it back! Hey guys, it's been a while. It's been a while. If you're looking for my lady, for my lady I'm, afraid I'm afraid she's not here she's right not now. Here right uh, now. Uh, uh, the voice. Uh, the voice. Toma, Toma, would that happen, would to, that be the happen to be the traveler? Uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> Greetings, traveler. Greetings, traveler. Ayaka speaks, speaks of you constantly. constantly. Finally, Finally today, is the day. today is the day. I am head I of the Kamisato clan and Yashiro, and Yashiro commissioner. commissioner. Kamisato Ayato. <sighs> Greetings, both. Greetings both. I have long, I have long been indebted to you on my sister's, sister's behalf. behalf. Finally, Finally, I have the chance to express chance my to profoundest, profoundest gratitude, gratitude to you in person. You in person. Ayaka, is, Ayaka out today. is out today. If you are here you regarding are anything regarding related anything to the Kamisato, Kamisato clan, clan, you are quite welcome to discuss it with me instead. Oh, hi. talking like that well he seems like a pretty powerful person he's already working his way up Paimon's list of people to never mess with look as soon as he stands up the whole atmosphere in the room changes and it feels like you got to be super polite <laughs> you shower me with praise undeserved my little guest there is no need to be quite so formal this is a private residence so please relax Good, cause that whole spiel was really tiring just now. All right, now that that's over, Pylon's just gonna ask the question. We heard a rumor that Kujo Kamaji and Hiragi Chisato are gonna get married soon. Do you know anything about that? Oh? I wouldn't have thought you'd heard about that yet. I see. Well, it's true. It wasn't long ago that I received the news myself. The head clans of two commissions are to become joined through marriage. This is big news for the whole of Inazuma. Since the Yashiro Commission presides over cultural and ceremonial affairs, it closely involves us, too. Yes. And, since the commissions are kind of the face of the Almighty Shogun to the masses, this wedding is one that we have to treat as a serious affair. Right! Makes sense! Ah, oh, two true lovers becoming husband and wife! What a happy occasion! It is. High-profile matrimonial links between two commissions are extremely rare. But these two truly love each other. Tradition should give way to freedom in this case. All right, then. I'll be sure to pay them a visit to send the best wishes of the Kamisato clan. Hmm. No need. I'll visit them personally this time. Huh? But you have other things to be doing. This is a marriage between the Kujo clan and the Hiragi clan. The Kamisato clan must demonstrate an appropriate level of respect. The work of the Yashiro Commission is indeed multifarious. Normally, weddings and other ceremonies would come under the supervision of my sister. But she is presently occupied with other matters, and I happen to have a little time to spare. This will be a good chance for me to pay a visit to the bride and groom. Oh, and would you two care to join me?
I presume you two have a special connection with the individuals in question, or you would not be quite so interested in this matter. This being the case, why not come and offer your best wishes too? Or is my presumption incorrect? Oh, it's not as interesting as you make it sound. No special connections here. Super ordinary ones, actually. We just agreed to help deliver a letter this one time, that's all. Uh, although, wait. Does that mean we helped make this wedding happen? Eh, all right then. I cannot thank you enough. Your mere presence shall surely mean we are spared the futile pursuit known as small talk. Wait, you're the Yashiro Commissioner, but you can't do small talk? <laughs> small talk is a chore. Of course, there are some people in the world who quite enjoy doing chores, but I am not one of them. Toma, I'm heading out with my two guests now. I'll leave the residence in your capable hands. Not a problem. Take care, my lord. Ah, you're finally... Ah, oh, Yashiro Commissioner! Hmm. Who are these two? They're friends of ours. Paimon will do the introductions. So it's true. Well, there we have it. That's it then. So be it. Great, so our hunch was spot on. It is a little inappropriate for me to have shared news of this magnitude with you. So I would be much obliged if you could keep it in strict confidence until an official public announcement is made. But don't worry, sir. We, we give you our word. We won't tell anyone about it. That puts my mind at ease. Now, on the topic. We'd like to pay a visit to the Kujo clan. Would you mind leading the way for us? Of course not. I'd be honored. I guess this is where I... Goodbye, then. Aw, cheer up, Shinojo. I'll try. Thank you. Where should we go to find a tea set? Having a cup of tea isn't exactly the most urgent thing to do right now, but... At the same time, this lovely old man from 500 years ago has been through so much, and it makes Paimon so sad. I'm also feeling very nostalgic for his tea. Oh, why don't we go to the Kanisato estate? There'll definitely be a tea.
This is no place to loaf around. <laughs> May the glory of the Princessin bring light to this world. I created this is another no place universe to loaf and founded paradise. For I, Fischl, and the Princess and Defa er oh. <laughs> This is no place to loaf around. Hear the voice of fate, speaking my name in humble supplication. I created another universe and founded paradise for I, Fischl, and the Princess and Defa er the well-being of my retinue during my impromptu absence. I'm sure the good people of the Adventurer's Guild are absolutely fine, Main Fräulein. I created another universe and founded Paradise. For I, Fischl, and the Princess and Defa er Hear the voice of fate, speaking my name in humble supplication. then. Please excuse me. I'll lead you to it from here. Okay. Thanks, Ipe. I apologize that your impromptu visit comes at a busy time for us, Commissioner. Otherwise, you can be sure that we would have prepared a more extravagant reception. I don't mean to impose, Sir Cujo. In fact, I'm not here on official business at all. I heard the good news about yourself and Lady Hiragi. What a glorious marital alliance this shall be. Given the close ties between our clans, it seemed only right that I should come and offer the Kamisato clan's congratulations in person. Oh, I'm truly honored. I hope the news didn't come as too much of a surprise. Hey there! We came to congratulate you as well!
since the incident with the Takatsukasa clan, things in the Tenryo Commission have slowly started to stabilize. I'm still acclimating to the position of acting head of the clan. I just hope I'm up to the task, so I can live up to everyone's expectations. You're far too modest. The public thinks very highly of you. They say you're hardworking, upright, and responsible. Uh, I'm flattered, but I wouldn't have achieved anything without the support of my people. Thanks to them, everything is gradually stabilizing, and I finally had the chance to focus a little on my personal life. <laughs> well, you're certainly making big progress in that department. <laughs> Come on now, you're embarrassing me. Uh, pardon me, I... Um... It's perfectly all right. Please, continue. I'm quite content to listen. It's a joyous occasion. Lighthearted is exactly how things should be. Really, who stays stony-faced when talking about a wedding? You're right. But I am curious to know, what's your honest opinion on the whole thing? Do you think it's... Too sudden? <laughs> of course not. Where there is true love, nothing should be allowed to stand in its way. No doubt people will offer you a, a colorful variety of opinions. But of course, you will have factored this into your decision, and I'm sure you are prepared for whatever challenges may lie ahead. Indeed I am. So, please be confident. When your mind is made up, you ought not be worried about things for which you are already well prepared. Nevertheless, there is just one small aspect of this that puzzles me a little. Please, go ahead. You've been working hard to bring the Tenryo Commission in line. This is positive, and no doubt the beginning of important change. But on the other side of this equation, Lady Hiragi's father, Hiragi Shinsuke, is still in prison. If you choose now, of all moments, to announce a marriage between the Hiragi and Kujo clans, the kinds of rumors that may begin to spread both among the general public and in the Kanjo Commission are not likely to be in either of your best interests. Yeah. Couldn't have put it better myself, Sir Kamisato. This has been my biggest concern for quite a while now. Hiragi Shinsuke is firmly against me having any contact at all with Chisato. In the past, we've always had to communicate in secret, by sending letters. So although now may not look like the best timing for this marriage, it may well be the only opportunity we have. Oh, that guy? Yeah, he acts like this sweet old man, but he was determined to make as much trouble for us as possible. Oh, he is the worst! I can see where you're coming from. But you're only postponing the problem, not solving it. You will still have to face it sooner or later. <sighs> yes, I'm well aware of that. But since Chisato had the courage to ask me to marry her... Well, sort of. She raised the idea in a letter, and after some initial hesitation, I went to meet her and have a serious conversation about our future. It's funny, actually, because when I formally proposed to her in person, she denied having ever written that letter. <sighs> so coy. Huh? R really? She didn't say. She just acted confused by the whole thing. She really committed to it. I'll never forget the look on her face. Oh. Anyway, as her boyfriend, I knew she was just pretending. So I played along and said, Ah, I was only joking about the letter. And then I proposed. After making some disgruntled noises about me making a stupid joke, she blushed and said yes. We spent that afternoon working through all the details of the wedding. Okay. So you discussed it and decided on a date? We did. I guess it was a chance to finally express our commitment to one another, 
clearly and completely. And you know what? I think it was about time. No matter what happens next, I will always be there for her as the one person she can always rely on. Oh, give me a break. Sorry, Sorry. but I've been wanting to say this the whole time. Is it just this kid or does everyone in love act like this? He just wants that tiny. Apologies, my friends, and also to Sir Kamisato. We must sound like a fool. Far from it. On the contrary, seeing you so positively smitten puts my mind at rest. No surer evidence could there be of your true feelings and your commitment. If I had any reservations before, I certainly don't now. I wish you a joyous wedding when the day comes. Yeah, yeah, isn't it pretty funny and irritating to see you all smug like this? Good luck on the day, and have a happy one. It means a lot. We have some have other some business other to attend to now. Until next time. Very well. I'll see you out. That must be true for anyone about to get married, right? It's a happy kind of busy, though. You're right. You're right. Kujo Kamaji is on cloud nine. What do you think, traveler? You're right. 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 But, unfortunately, but unfortunately, attempting to seek the truth of the matter would likely be fruitless. Yeah, how come? Yeah, how come? Whenever we come across stuff like this on our adventures, we find a way to get to the bottom of it. I see. So that's how adventurers think. In my opinion, we face two obstacles in this case. Firstly, we have very little information to go on, and I must be cautious about taking a stance. This makes it this makes difficult, it to, difficult investigate. to investigate. Secondly, Secondly and, more and more importantly, the person involved, the person involved doesn't, seem, doesn't to care. seem to care. If we intervene, if we intervene without, without his blessing, his blessing good, intentions good intentions may lead to, may lead to catastrophic, catastrophic results. results. You do have a point. Kamaji doesn't, doesn't seem worried, worried at all. all. Everything, Everything in the world, the is, world intertwined. is intertwined. What looks like a what simple like outcome simple is often the result of multiple conflating reasons. reasons. Seeking, the, Seeking full the full truth would be a long and laborious, laborious process. process. It would be inefficient. Would be inefficient. Sort, of. sort of. I have to take, I have this, to take approach, this approach, or the work, or of, the work of the Yashiro Commissioner, commissioner would, never be, would never be done. My opinion My is opinion something is like this. Like this. When something, when something strange, strange happens, happens, instead of trying, instead to, of find trying to find out what, what could have caused it, it is better to look at the situation itself. If the, if the outcome is positive, is positive and, no and no one was deceived or harmed or in the process, in the process then, then it is acceptable. It is acceptable. We, don't know, we yet. don't know yet. After all, After all we, don't we don't know what Hiragi Chisato's, Chisato's thoughts, thoughts are, do we? Are, do we? I, have I have to say, I'm impressed, I'm by, impressed by your ability to zero in on the, in on the issue from such a from short such meeting. meeting. Most insightful Most of you. You are thorough and thoughtful, just as my sister describes. Huh? huh? But she said to in have already talked everything through, through haven't, haven't they? they? Only if we Only are to take we are Kujo Kamaji at, at his word. But there are two, there sides, are two sides to every story. To every story. I, wish to I wish to know Hiragi Chisato's, Chisato's, angle, Chisato's angle, angle on this. Huh. Huh. Makes sense, Makes sense, but Diamond still, still doesn't quite, quite get it. Don't worry about, Don't worry it. about it. I was planning I was to visit the Hiragi clan to deliver my best wishes anyway. Let's take, Let's take the opportunity to hear her, to hear her, thoughts. her thoughts. If she's as if committed she's as, as committed Kujo Kamaji, perhaps they perhaps can navigate, they can the, navigate challenges the challenges ahead challenges successfully. successfully. But, but if not... If not well, well, life isn't, life isn't always, always a smooth, smooth journey. journey.
Holy shit! I recognize that voice! It's Momonga from Mines of Go uh from Overlord! No way! It is! I know that voice! At the very least, we should send them invitations. I agree. Oh, hello there, Yoshiro Oh, man. I completely recognize that voice. Wow. No bloody way. Alright, so his name is Chris Guerrero, and yep, confirmed, Einzul Gohn. Yep, confirmed, he's the voice of Einzul Gohn. Let's see... I knew it! They're the same guy! As it happens, I'm here regarding the same wedding I believe I heard you discussing. Oh, yeah! I come bearing the felicitations of the Kamisato clan. Oh, yeah. And on top of that, he also voiced Efreet from Reincarnated as a Slime. Would Lady Hiraki happen to be available at this moment? Entertaining guests right now, and we're not entirely sure how long she will be. But please, do come in. We will arrange some tea and snacks for you and your attendants. You misunderstand. These two are dear friends. We don't wish, we to, don't impose. wish to impose. We'll just, we'll just wander around, around the, general the general area. area. Apologies, no, for, apologies the for the interruption while you're busy while with, preparations. with preparations. Please, Please. let us know once Lady Hiragi is, is available. Nonsense commissioner. No imposition at all. This wedding is a joyful occasion. And all the other clans who serve the Hiragi clan are most delighted for them indeed. We're merely doing the best we can to make this wedding as grand and fair as possible. When the time when comes, the time we'll comes, invite everyone we'll in the clan and even the general even public, the general to, public attend. to attend. That sounds, that splendid. sounds splendid. We'll leave you to we'll it. Leave you to it. Take, care, Take care, Commissioner! Take care, Commissioner! You guys are having a lot without actually saying anything. Hence why Hence I dislike why I small talk. Small talk. Our timing, Our timing was not, was not ideal, ideal, but never mind. Never mind. I spotted I a stall spotted on, our, a stall way on our way over where, where we can where pass, we the can time. pass the time. The owner always the owner manages always to come up with novel ideas. ideas. <laughs> I'm, one I'm one of his regular his customers. Regular customers.
nonsense. I'm sure the good people of the Adventurers Guild are absolutely fine, Ming Foylai. Seems like you're Seems always, like showing, you're up always showing up with the VIP until. Oh. oh. So you know so the, you owner, know as the well. owner as well. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. We tried to sell the old lady show and she was in the city. Ah, oh, I see. I see. So you were so involved, you in, you were involved that. in that. I'd caught wind of this dongle milk, milk. But I didn't know that it had anything to do with you two. I always order I always one of his, order his creative, creative drinks whenever drinks I pass the stall. The stall. Flavor, Flavor is always is new and interesting. New and interesting. When I noticed when he'd I set up shop in Rito, I simply, I had, to I simply had to come by. Oh, oh, thanks to you, thanks all, to you all, my business, my is, business finally is finally beginning, beginning, to, take beginning to take off. More and more, more people and more are willing people to give my creative cuisine a shot. It gave me the confidence to decide I'm going to stick to creative cuisine from now on. On the, hand, on the one hand, I wanted more people wanted to be able to try out my culinary, culinary creation. On the other hand, on the other hand I, wanted my I wanted my customers to experience the joy of being creative too. Creative too. So, so I gave it a lot, gave of, thought, a lot of thought and finally, finally came up with an all new business, all new business concept. concept. Sounds, interesting. Sounds interesting. What is it this what time? Is it this time? I've decided to I give decided complete give creative complete control to the customer. Control the customer. I offer all I offer sorts all of ingredients, ingredients, and they pick and choose whatever they want to mix with their milk or tea. As well as Dongo, I now Dongo, offer I now rice cake, rice purple, cake potato purple potato balls, black balls, sugar, black and sunsetia. Sun Do they really eat go well with milk? milk? Mm -hmm. Hard to imagine, but who knows? Who knows? Could be delicious. Could be delicious. What if I were to choose some ingredients you don't have here? Would that be okay? Would that be okay? Uh, uh, well, I, I, well guess so. I, I guess so. Any novel Any ideas novel you have, Commissioner, please, please feel free to tell me. I'll go buy the ingredients right away. The whole idea the whole was idea to let my customers express, express their creativity, their creativity freely. freely. So of course, so of I course, shouldn't place restrictions on the ingredients if I can help it. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> there are a few there things I'd, few like, things to I'd like to try. Lavender melon, Lavender melon seagrass, seagrass, and sea ganoderma. Uh, uh, what? You wanna mix those with milk? milk? I do indeed. I do indeed. Why? What's Why? wrong? What's wrong? Do you really do you think really that's gonna turn out tasting good? It's all, it's about, all the about the experience. The taste is, the secondary. Taste is secondary. It's great to, it's try, great new to try new things. Traveler, Traveler. Any, thoughts? any thoughts? Well, well, not right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. I'm at the target. Three milks with, Three milks with sea ganadama, 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 please. please. Uh, no problem. No problem. Give me a second. Me I'll a have second. them ready in just a moment. Just a moment. Here, your milk Here, is ready. Your milk is ready. Give it a try. Give it a try. I think it's all right. It has quite a fascinating texture. Your reviews seem pretty positive, but Violet still thinks they're better. Taste is your key concern, yes? Obviously! Tasty food and drinks are some of life's most important. Well said. If I could say the same was true for me, I believe I'd be a very content man. Yes. Yes. No one has, no unlimited, one has energy, unlimited energy, and I try to and conserve try to mine for the things that really things count. That really count. To, create to create some mental, mental breathing room, I try not, to, try overthink not to overthink the less critical, the critical, the less critical matters. matters. Having my sister, having my sister attend, attend public events in my stead, and, and, and having Toma as housekeeper, housekeeper has also been a great, has also help, been a great and help, help and allowed me to focus. 
One or two One things. Or two things. Let's continue Let's this discussion, continue somewhere, discussion somewhere, else. somewhere else. I noticed something, I noticed before, something we before we left the Iraqi, Iraqi clan's residence. residence. No, no. It, was it was just a small detail. detail. I, was I was curious to know their, thoughts, know their on the wedding, thoughts on the wedding, so I asked them, so about, I asked it. them about it. Naturally, they, Naturally, they responded that all other clans, clans are happy for the Hiraki clan. clan. But that's not, that's the, not truth. the truth. What do you mean? Do you mean? Hiraki Shinsuke is still, still in prison, meaning the Kanjo Commission, commission is the least is stable in the Tri Commission. Hiragi Chisato is the sole remaining pillar of her clan. But now she but plans now to she marry plans into the Kujo clan. clan. If I belong if to I one, belong of one of the assisting clans to the Hiragis, I would not be would feeling not optimistic, be feeling about, optimistic the about the future. But they didn't but they mention didn't a mention word, about, word that. about that. They simply, they simply said they were said delighted, they were for, delighted them. for them. These are These not are unintelligent not people. people. I highly I doubt highly it is because they simply do not realize. Nice. I imagine they didn't want to discuss family issues in front of outsiders. But still, the more I think back over that conversation, the more it doesn't sit right. Keep a close eye on them, Isashi. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is one this of my is most, one trusted, of my most trusted members of the Shumatsu He's, He's been quietly been watching quietly out for us this whole time. Merely doing Merely my duty, sir. sir. Keep a close Keep watch, a close on, the watch on the clan representatives we, representatives met, today. we met today. Well received. Well received. I'm, on I'm on the case. Oh, and oh, I almost and forgot. I almost forgot. That, milk that milk I just had? I just had? Please order Please one more and deliver it to Toma. As you wish, sir. Oh, no, poor Toma. 
Sir Kamisato, Sir Kamisato. Lady Hiragi's previous, previous engagement is now concluded. Is now concluded. She's, waiting She's waiting for you in the courtyard. Thank you kindly. Thank you kindly. Let's go and see Let's Hiragi Chisoto.